Hi, this is Erin from the Science Off Center team here at the St. Louis Science Center with an experiment I hope you can do at home. This is actually my first time doing it. If you follow our videos, you saw that a couple weeks ago we experimented with different ways to keep apples from browning. And I got thinking about the fact that if if apples brown because of oxygenation, what will happen if we get rid of the oxygen? And so, so I'm trying this experiment for the first time to see if we get rid of the oxygen in containers, will it keep the apples from browning? Now there's two ways I know to get rid of oxygen that we've done a bunch here before. One of the ways is to burn a candle because I know that burning a candle, a candle needs oxygen to burn and it will go out once all the oxygen is used up. So if we can seal this container then with a burning candle, then it should eat up all the oxygen before it has a chance to mess with the apples. I also know that baking soda and vinegar can combine to make carbon dioxide, and since that's heavier than the oxygen in the air, if it fills up with carbon dioxide, it can chase the oxygen out. But I also know that when you're doing science experiments, it's good to have a control. A control variable is or a control sample is one that uh, that doesn't have the other things going on, so you have something to compare it to. And we want to keep as many variables the same as possible. So I got three containers of the same size, and since I know I'll have to cover the candle with aluminum foil, I have enough aluminum foil to cover the other ones too. So once you have your apple slices ready, and all your materials, and adult supervision if you're going to be using fire, you're ready to set up each experiment. So, for our first one, the burnt candle, I'm going to put the apple in the container, light the candle, and then seal it up with aluminum foil. Even though saran wrap or plastic wrap seals better, that will melt with the candle, so aluminum foil is a good compromise. And we'll let that burn there. Next up will be the baking soda and vinegar. So I'm going to pour some vinegar into here. Add some baking soda. And we'll let it bubble up and it's creating a bunch of carbon dioxide gas. And the carbon dioxide should chase away the oxygen. And then I can set my apple container in there. Oops. Let's say I don't want to get the carbon the vinegar in there. I have to balance my apple. There we go. And cover that up. And last but not least, the control, which will just be an apple in a container with aluminum foil still so that it's similar to the other one. And then we give it time. So now we're back seven hours later to see how our predictions fared. And I can say that the first surprise is that none of the apples are as brown as I expected them to be after seven hours. But we can look to see how they compare still. So for our control, the apple that was just in the container with the aluminum foil over the lid has a little bit of browning along the outer edge here. And a little bit more on the other side and along the, the cut. The apple with that was with the burnt candle that, to use of the oxygen seems to be maybe even slightly browner than the control. These are the same. They're close enough that it could be just a difference in which part of the apple it was cut from, what was closer to a bruise and what not. And the baking soda and vinegar is again about the same, but 
maybe even browner than the control. It's hard to say. So what you need to do then is go back and come up with a different version of the experiment that will help answer the new questions that were raised. So if you have any ideas for how to improve this science experiment, please contact us from scienceoffcenter.org.